Hey everybody, Brandy Furlan here with the Furlan Group. I am so excited. I'm going to be sharing with you an amazing new property coming on the market. So you're going to get a sneak peek. This is in Artisan Lakes by Esplanade. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see and take you through. Here we go. See, we're doing the drone now. So pictures will be live. The drone will be live on the MLS shortly. So keep an eye out. But here is this great extended paver patio. Can you imagine how great this would be to entertain? So you come inside this nice enclosed area with the rock wall, double doors. I'll take you through the front door here into this beautiful open great room plan. This house has three bedrooms, all with their own bathroom and a half bath. So let me start over here. Here's the half bath. Right when you walk in the front door, Walk right in here and you've got this first little bedroom here with its own bathroom. This one overlooks the courtyard. So it's very bright and open. I love the closet doors, they're, they're raised panel, double closet doors, it's very sturdy. You're not dealing with those bifolds. All the doors are a great quality, double panel. Raised panel, sorry. Love the ducky here. All the bathrooms are different with color and granite or quartz. So that one's granite. So as soon as you walk in the front door, as you, as you can see, it's this huge living room. Just to give you an idea of how big this room is, I don't even, I think it's a 90 inch TV. So I hope that gives you an idea of how big this room is. This is the front den office. And they have it kind of as a hobby room, office, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to take you first into the kitchen area before we go out back or into the other room. So here's the kitchen with a nice quartz countertop. It's a upper level quartz, 42 inch cabinets. The refrigerator is pretty amazing. It's a cafe with built-in espresso machine, hot and cold water. Pretty cool, right guys? Who wouldn't want that? All right, and then over here, we've got the nook area. This living room actually is set up in the model where the, the living room is over here, and then the dining room is just on the other side. These owners choose to have just one dining area. However, if you like to have it, you can see the, um, cap off in the ceiling where the dining room table could be or vice versa, living room, dining room, however you want it to be. This is a really versatile floor plan. This area is nice uh, for their daughter plays here. Great playroom, separate sitting area. And again, look at the awesome coffered ceilings. Esplanade, if you're not familiar, is a such a popular community. Their amenity center is like no other. It's like a resort. You don't you don't even know that you're at a community pool. Of course, the landscapers are going to be out there hedging trees right when I want to come out. So that's how that works. So anyway, we've come out here. We've got a paver patio. I love the aquarium glass window. Overlook from the kitchen area. It's such a private feel back here. Even with the homes over there, they've got so much tropical landscaping. These Eureka palms just give you such a feel of privacy. Beautiful pool with pebble tech and water bowls and hot tub. Who couldn't sit and relax back here? This could be your home. If you like this, give me a call before it goes on the market because I'm telling you, it is not gonna last. You can sit out here and watch TV. Listen to the waterfalls. So we're gonna go in the master bedroom now. I love the entryway. Let me back up just a little bit when you come in. So your door, if it's open, it's, you're not looking right into the room. It gives you a little bit of some privacy. It's a, a nice kick out in the bedroom. That was actually an upgrade to bump the bedroom out. More seating space. I didn't realize I turned these lights off. Let me turn them back on. Here we are in the master bathroom. Sorry, guys. 
All right, double shower head shower. Look at the size of this, everybody. Love this. So there was an option to have a garden tub and a shower. Who does showers or bathtubs anymore? All right. Oh, and the countertops are a beautiful quartz counter, white cabinets. So every bathroom, like I said, is different. That other one had dark cabinets with dark granite. This one's light. All right, we're back in the main area. So the bedrooms, as you can see, are all split. So you've got the one right off by the front, the den, the master, and then here's the third one all the way on the other side. This is such a great floor plan for just space and privacy. It's a little over 3,000 square feet. Three bedrooms, three baths. Nice size bedroom. And this one's a, a lighter maple spice cabinet with granite and a shower. So the other one does have a tub. So one of the bathrooms has a tub. And here's the walk-in. So each bathroom, bedroom has a nice size closet. And here's the laundry room. So the house is a three car. So it's two cars with a tandem third car. So there it is, you guys. We're going to be listing this house at 544,900. Again, just over 3,000 square feet, three bedrooms, three baths, and a half bath also. So also, while I have you all here, I want to show you or tell you about the market stats. But, you know, I always like to take the opportunity to showcase a property and talk about the market uh, stats and what's been going on. So I haven't, I didn't do the stats last week. I'm going to start doing them every two weeks. Um, the numbers are just astounding. So in the last two weeks, we had an 8% increase on average over each week. 947 properties came on the market, new listings that came on the market, almost 1,000 new listings. 1399, so almost 1,400 properties actually went under contract. That's an average of about 5% increase each week of properties going under contract. And then 1,097 properties closed in the last two weeks. And that is crazy because two weeks ago, we had an increase of 22%. Last week, we actually saw a decrease of 37% in the last week of uh, actual closings. And again, like I've mentioned before, that really just it has nothing to do with um, the market. It's just the time of the month. And when you close, there tends to be more closings in the beginning of the month than the end of the month. So right now, we have 5,455 properties on the market. We don't seem to be increasing very much, even though we had almost 1,000 new listings come on the market in the last two weeks, but we also had third, almost 1,400 go under contract. So if you're looking to buy, you guys jump on these homes. If you are looking, you see something you like because the market's hot. And if it's priced right and looks good, we call it a price war and a beauty competition. If it fits in there, it's gonna sell. So if you wanna sell, now's the time, let me know. If you're interested also in this house, Give me a call, shoot me a message. I will send you the video that was being done outside. We're getting a drone, a 3D tour. It's gonna to be amazing. I'll also be doing a virtual open house on that one uh, to showcase it. So thanks again, everybody. Have a fantastic week. Stay safe with COVID and uh, wear your mask.